We all know that if you were on a bus or a train or a plane and somebody near you sneezed and they had the measles virus, you're likely going to be exposed to it. But some research out of MIT last year suggested it really is a lot worse than that. Imagine if I were seated in this seat right here. This research said that even if somebody sneezed way back there on the plane, that beyond the immediate area of where they're seated, there can be these invisible clouds of sort of micro droplets that travel a very long distance despite filtering systems and everything else. And those micro droplets can infect me. They can land on surfaces and I can touch them and they can infect me. And as you noted there, if I have not been vaccinated or if it is a circumstance where I have not had measles before, I have a 90% chance, as you mentioned, a 90% chance of getting infected. So what are we seeing in this country? We've seen more people backing away for voluntary reasons from having their children inoculated. And this is the result. Every place that's darker on there is where people have backed off from doing it. They've backed down some. And guess what? Two of the darkest places that we're talking about here, California, they had the outbreak at Disneyland, and as you noted moments ago, more cases now. And now we're looking at Arizona, where they're looking at a whole lot of people, where, guess what? People are coming from all over the country right now, Aaron, for the Super Bowl. So, Tom, I mean, right, as people congregate, and they congregate in places like planes, hotels, restaurants, how much of a risk do they have of becoming infected? Because you're talking about people who are not vaccinated and that rising risk. But then there's also the understanding that, you know, it doesn't last forever. So if you had it as a kid and you didn't get boosters, which most people don't because everybody was supposed to be getting vaccinated, a whole lot of people might be vulnerable who don't know it. Well, it's possible some people are vulnerable who don't know it, but that's going to be a smaller set. The real issue is the people who just aren't taking any measures against it, mm. because if enough of them start congregating in a place like Arizona around this event, yeah, they can start passing it among themselves. And look at what the result has been of some of this, Aaron. Back in 2000, we basically said as a nation that measles had been wiped out in this country. It was gone. And yes, we had some sort of artifacts of cases here for a number of years, but look what has happened in recent years. Suddenly we started seeing little spikes here, not great big ones, but signs of something going on again in 13. And then last year, look at that. It jumps to well over 600 cases. And Aaron, if these numbers keep holding up this year, we'll go higher than that before year's end. In a country of 311 million people, it's not a pandemic, but it is a trend line that health officials really don't like seeing.